Hey everyone, welcome back. I am bringing you August's Cards, Tags, and More Kit, and with it, my first project of the month. We have a little pale brown chalk ink, some wicker hearts, a pack of Prima flowers, a gatefold card blank with an envelope, and a little sheet for some card ideas. And then we have the Bellefleur line from Craft Consortium. There's the 6x6 pad, the stamp set, rub-ons, the trims, and the little enamel dots. My first project is just going to be using some cardstock from my stash. I am not going to be working with the card blank for this week, but I am going to use the papers to make some little samples of some wedding save the date cards and then just a little sample handmade wedding invitation. For my printing, I just, I used some staples along the edges and just some, it's not masking tape, it's artist's tape, just to hold the paper, the 6x6 papers in place on just a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of printer paper. And then I, I ran that through my printer so that I could print directly on to the pattern paper. Alright, the measurements for the piece of the save the date card that I had printed on is two and seven eighths inches tall and just four and an eighth inches across. And then my cardstock that I'm using to back it is five and a half inches tall and four and a quarter inches across. And then I just I just used the back side of that pattern paper and fill in above the um, the part that I had printed on. I more or less I just have it trimmed down uh, so that there's about a sixteenth of an inch around all sides of of the pattern paper. For this save the date card, I have both the flower and the stamp that says save the date on there. And I do it in the royal purple stays on. And then I come back and I use the pale brown ink from this month. And I stamp it twice on top of that royal purple and just use clear embossing powder. And then I just use my glue stick to adhere it down to this um, this glitter cardstock that I'm using for the back. I had started with using my Scotch ATG and then I realized that it probably wouldn't stick very well to that glitter cardstock by itself so I used that in conjunction with my Yoohoo stick just to make sure that everything stays put. And then I come through for this one and I just pick out a sheet of the pattern paper that I like and I think will go well to use as a band between the, the two parts of the pattern paper. I use that pale brown chalk ink just to ink up along the edges and then I just glue that down in place. And there you have the first save the date card. The second save the date card, uh, when I do the top, instead of doing stamping, I use one of the rub on flowers and I use the rub on save the date for it. I did two different save the date cards, kind of thinking of them in two different ways, like the, the kind with the embossing and the, the strip of pattern paper as a band. Uh, could be kind of like the ones that would be sent out whereas 
the ones with the rub-ons and the ones with the lace, this one I'm working on now, could be used for your keepsakes. Because the rub-ons are relatively uh, water, water resistant, I used that pale brown all around on the upper part of, of my save the date card so that that rub-on would show up a little bit more and then I just spritzed it with water and cleaned up the excess ink gently from that rub-on. Then I just glue on my lace to this one and trim the edges and now I have my second save the date card finished. And now for my invitation. I, I taped down uh, a sheet of this lavenderish, light purplish tissue paper, just regular tissue paper. And I printed all of the information out on it. And then I took it out and I used a semi-gloss spray to create that fall glassine look and feel and it also holds the ink in place since I was just using my regular inkjet printer. For the invitation I wanted to use uh, a couple of the different floral sheets that that have that shine to them so I cut them uh, diagonally not perfect triangles more trapezoids all right, I am going to just post the measurements up here real quick. I don't have them on hand right now, so when I come back and do my editing, I will add in all of the measurements for this background of the invitation. I am just lining up those two pieces, and I only used my stapler just to weigh down the one piece and I just put some double-sided tape uh, across the seam just to hold them together while I continued to work on them. I was trying to figure out exactly what size I wanted to cut the tissue paper down to so I was just using this little piece of cardstock as a template and there's the size that I did finally decide on to make my tissue paper and the size to cut the opening on those two pieces of pattern paper that I have put together. So I just worked out the the measurements to get that opening centered on on my two pieces of pattern paper and I'm just lining them up and I'm making the marks I need so that I can come in and draw the lines to follow And then I just use a little cutting mat and my craft knife with my metal ruler to carefully cut out that center where my tissue paper with all of the details is going to be put. Then I'm just backing my frame with some more double-sided tape to hold those two pieces together and to start the process for when I, I put it on that light sage cardstock that I'm using as, as the back for this invitation. I'm just clipping my tissue paper in place to, to protect it while I do the rest of the work so it doesn't get wrinkled and I'm just going to set it off to the side and finish up the background before I come back and add that tissue paper in. Just going to pop that little frame onto that cardstock and start the decoration process. My first round is using the flower stamps with that pale brown chalk ink from the kit and embossing powder and just working my way all the way around and stamping them on and embossing them.
After I've made it all the way around with just the pale brown chalk ink, I come back and I use the same royal purple stays on as a base stamp and then come back and add another stamping of the pale brown like I did on the first save the date card except I only do one layer of pale brown and embossing on this invitation. I make sure that it's cooled off. I make sure that the adhesion is still good between the cardstock and that little frame. And then I just come in and I use that piece of cardstock that I used as a template as a tear guide and just roughly tear the edges of my tissue paper before I add my glue stick. It, it goes on blue, but it dries perfectly clear. I make sure that it is nice and smooth and then I decided to take it over and I very very carefully put a single line of stitching around the tissue paper. I now have a couple of different save the date cards and a sample wedding invitation made using the papers from this month's kit and just some plain cardstock from my stash. I hope that you enjoyed this project and it gave you some ideas of what can be made using this month's cards, tags, and more kit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications if you haven't already so you can always be kept up to date when new videos are posted. Give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thank you and I will see you again next week.